Hi guys. Well, it's a little bit of a cloudy, gloomy Monday morning here on January 22nd, 2024. But it looks like winter has passed, spring is returning, and we will be in the 80s by tomorrow, I think. Uh, I'm glad to see that maybe we have a new... A new member of the flock here. This is this wood stork that appeared yesterday and uh, seems to be happy here. So uh, maybe the wood stork will join us. Here's our little coots starting their week. And I guess over here we have the Whatever that guy is. Is he an egret or a heron? There seems to be some argument here on which one that is. Uh, but, uh, it's so nice. I noticed the, uh, the wood stork is all alone. It's just not right. But these coots seem to have found each other. It is so nice to see that someone uh, has made a pair bonding, a successful pair bonding in uh, <laughs> Denellen, <Dinellan>, Florida. <coughs> so right up the street, I was coming by, there's these four guys about my age. Uh, <laughs> Each one in their own different vehicle. I come driving up and uh, I said, What? I said, Is this the grumpy old man Monday morning meetup? And there we were. Five lonely, grumpy old men starting another week. So I guess this is kind of part two of my, of my midnight rant last night where uh, I finally sent that fucking psycho bitch to the curb. That little goddamn Joe Biden ass licker. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. You, you know... <laughs> Damn ridiculous talking about her. my communication style. You typical male. Typical male. With your communication style with women. Oh, God. You know. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, why? is it just it is the single biggest challenge on the fucking planet and, uh, Don Juan Matus whining to Carlos Castaneda that, uh, you know he can turn into a crow and fly away for three days uh <laughs> Uh, but he cannot have a successful relationship with a female. That the male-female pair bonding, and it's probably the same thing for gay guys and lesbians. Uh, what the fuck is it about the male-female pair bonding? I, I know some people do it. I, I know several people who have done it. It, it, is, it is an absolute fucking mystery to me. You know, there's a damn four billion women on this fucking planet. There, there's 15 million women right here in the state of Florida. 15 million women. Okay. I'm not greedy like I like I used to be. Maybe this is my karma. 
when I'm uh, how greedy I used to be. I I used to start getting nervous when I, when I had less than three women at my beck and call. Uh, <laughs> That that I you know when I when I got down to only two women, uh, I started getting nervous that uh, I, ha I had to get another one, uh, you know, a, a third one in the pussy bank. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> And, then, and it wasn't that long ago, it wasn't that long ago that I used to uh, start getting nervous when I got down to three women that were available to me. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The, the insurmountable challenge and uh, uh, what's that women are from Venus men are from Mars and, and, and of course uh, <laughs> you, you know just, just the the absolute delicious layer of irony painted over this whole thing is, is that this whole apparently there's some myth out there that it is only women who want to talk about the relationship. That, uh, you know, the old joke that men will uh, talk about anything in the world except the relationship. And, and, and the one subject that, uh, <laughs> the one subject that the woman I love refuses to uh, talk about for five seconds is the relationship, or shall I say, the the lack of relationship, the the hopelessness of the uh, the absolute utter abject hopelessness of the non relationship. I guess I should say, I don't know what this bird is doing. I guess he is preening his feathers. I've never seen this guy. I think that's a male. I don't know why. Never seen this bird with a woman. He seems to be absolutely solitary. You know, a good looking guy like that. He's a good-looking guy. He's got this beautiful home in paradise. You, you know, he's he's standing over here, preening his damn feathers. And then you have this one. Now, I think this actually might be a... I'm, I'm getting the idea that this one is actually a female. So maybe the, we could get some cross species going and... Maybe she could get together with that good-looking guy over there. But this, this whole notion of fear of intimacy, that this is a, um, the, this emotional unavailability and, and, and the fear of intimacy and all of this bullshit that this is, uh, that women uh, are, are, are the only ones who have to deal with the uh, person they love having a fear of intimacy and being emotionally uh, unavailable to them. Yeah, right. I am the most emotionally and physically available <laughs> man on the state of the plant and the state of Florida or probably on this goddamn planet. You know, I, I, I do not have one female friend in the state of Florida. Not, not, not one. I, I mean, years ago, I had uh, 
I had two, and in some weird way, if you if you throw in Lulu, uh, I, I had three. So, uh, of course, Lulu thankfully put a bullet through her fucking head. That took care of that woman. And uh, and this other psycho bitch. You know, we had been friends. So, darling, uh, well, not that she listens to my rants anymore. She's she's right down the street. She's uh, she lives about 20 minutes from here. Uh, you know, we had been friends for two or three years. We had been been friends. I actually have an interview with her here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I brought her on the show. Uh, I stayed at her house many times. Uh, she's a doomer chick. She's smart, funny, good looking. Uh, she went completely fucking, completely fucking psycho bitch on me. Uh, out of fucking nowhere, just absolutely went fucking uh, <laughs> psycho bitch. No explanation whatsoever. And, uh, and so I, so then there were, then of course there was Karen, this, this very normal, that this nice, attractive, uh, doomer chick who, who I hung around with quite a bit down here. Uh, she actually came and visited me in New York and we took several trips together. I remember we, uh, Camping New Year's Eve down in the Everglades and whatnot, a uh, you know an an intelligent, attractive uh, Doomer chick with a good sense of humor. And then she dropped dead on me at uh, at age uh, how long was Karen? Fifty four. There there was no romance there which she blamed uh, on the chemotherapy. Uh, I mean, I don't, she doesn't mind me saying this now because uh, she's dead. Uh, you know, after we had been friends for a while and we're, and we're out there, you, you know, in paradise and whatnot, and now they're camping in the fucking Everglades, the two of us, we have a nice buzz going. And so I was trying to uh, very gently suggest maybe we could uh, <laughs> d d do what other people. And uh, she told me something about the the br the breast cancer treatment. She she said, Hamon, she said my pussy can grind glass is what she said. So so ladies, if if you ever, if a if a man is ever making unwanted sexual advances towards you what you tell him is dude my pussy could grind glass <laughs> I, I assure you that uh, that was the end of my sexual pursuit of of Karen but at least it, you know it, it was some feminine energy in my life I have no feminine energy in my life zero uh, you know I, I i have my phone calls with with sandy and ariel uh and my friend and 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 austin and two friends so i guess i have four females that i have phone contact with that that is uh which is more than I can say. You notice I do not. Uh, I do not include the woman from Pittsburgh, in uh, in, in the list of women I have phone contact with, because apparently she cannot remember my fucking telephone number. Uh. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah. Then uh, and and so then of course. You know, last year I met this woman through my soft white underbelly uh, interview. She she lives right down the street from here. The this attractive, she's about fifty eight year old doomer chick. 
uh, and, and, and that one lasted, how many phone calls did that one last b before that fucking bitch went off on me? I mean, absolute fucking uh, psycho bitch from hell attack. Uh, <laughs> I think I got maybe four or five phone calls out of that one. And she sure as shit is a Dover chick. Speaking of Sancho, Sancho, I hope the hell this is not this damn crazy ass Puerto Rican woman. Are they gonna go through, not run over my dog? Sancho's timing is. Uh, Jesus, I wish you could see this fucking monster truck. This goddamn, it's a Ram 30, Dodge Ram 3500 4x4. Wonder how many times that fucking truck has been off the pavement. Oh, <coughs> oh Lord. And it seems the sun is trying to come out on this Monday morning, so uh, I guess I will be uh, sanding baseboards today is my excitement. Because now I'm going on a freak out that I have nothing to do. And uh, now that the doomsday trailers about done baseboards and a bathroom vanity and so here i am with this nice trailer which will actually have a working furnace on thursday or a working air conditioner on thursday when it's in the mid 80s and uh living in this nice place on this beautiful piece of ground a block from this dock Uh, here I am talking to my imaginary friends out there on YouTube. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your imaginary lovers while you still can. Bye, guys.